Yeah, there was a there was a regular crew of crazies that you would see at a lot of those yeah. in LA. If you were LA, same kind of wacky dudes. They come out just to hear themselves talk a lot of times. Yeah. They have like a thing where like the tires, why are tires the price they are? It's ridiculous. They just complain about yeah. something every week. There was that Italian duo, those oh. two guys. Oh wait, yeah, uh J- is it not Jimmy and Joey or Joey? something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they were those, like those guys, like real um, fucking the meatballs of comedy. Yeah, I the first character I ever did was a character based on those guys, and I didn't know that one of those guys owned like that IP, the meatballs of comedy, a- and the Jimmy and Joey. So right, there was like one of them would be was like I I created this, and he would like swap out a Joey. He's like just not working with you, and he did a new Joey. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Those guys, I forgot about those guys. The meat the meatballs of comedy tour. Yeah. They talk about doing cruise ships and stuff. Yeah, I fucking I just Ooh. remember seeing them at some is, is this still a thing? Are they white shoes. They wear white shoes, right? I'm trying to remember. There he is, right? So the guy yeah, yeah the guy on the right, it was it's his thing. And he would he would try different people in the other role. Like the sportsman's lodge, I think they would do stuff with the sportsman's, yeah. right? Yes. Those guys. The Meatballs of Comedy Tour. Yeah. I think I would say I was in Meatballs of Comedy. I would do this character where I would go up and say, I'm Joey Spilicone, part of the Meatballs of Comedy, and I would do like all these terrible cruise jokes and yeah. stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you used to see those guys everywhere, man. I'm surprised they didn't come try to kick my ass. Probably. Well, if they didn't hear about it, so thank you. You don't own the IP. You know what that is? Scared. You claim to be the freaking Meatballs of Comedy here? Yeah. <laughs> Get your ball. Get your meatballs out. We're going to cut them off. <laughs> cut those meatballs off. A lot of attitude. That's the thing you got to have. A lot of attitude. You got you know, you, you to go in there. You got to tell me. You got to walk in there, okay? You got to walk in and be like, okay, I own this place, okay? Yeah, I own the You joint. walk in there. You don't you don't take no crap from nobody. There's number one. Number one, don't take no crap from nobody. Number two, you got to have white shoes. White shoes are big. Nice white shoes, three sizes too big, okay? Yeah. You want that, so it looks like you got a big old ding ling going on down there, you know? Big old fucking white shoes. And you got to talk about how Italian you are. You got to talk about the, mama. You got to go, Italian. ah, ah. There's no better food than Italian food. Everywhere I go, I go everywhere. They say to me, Joey. The best foods, Italian food. How do you do it? <laughs> How did you guys do it? <laughs> and I tell you, it's Italian secret. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Kill you. The hey, whole crowd. The whole crowd. The whole crowd. Have to kill you. Yeah. All right. All oh, right. This next Shit. guy, you're going to love him. <laughs> this next guy coming up, you're going to love him. This guy is Tom Sejura. Yeah. He's a, a great you wait, guy. You Italian? And then, you, know, be, you Italian? Yeah, I used to get that all you the time. Italian? You Italian? No. And they're like, oh, all right. Ah. Uh, yeah, they go, you sure? Yeah. You sure? I, a lot of people, they are. They don't know it. They don't know it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because you get really fast. You might be from the north. You're you from got, the north. You got, you got kind of light eyes. Yeah. Northern Italian. Northern Italian. These are the smart ones. Hey, this next guy, he's northern Italian. Yeah. This guy's got the money. He took it off from the Sicilians. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those fucking dudes. God damn. I haven't thought about that in forever. Yeah. And then, oh, man. Then there was people. I remember there was guys who would just do sets hammered, like hammered. <laughs> yeah, that was so they would go there. You'd sign up. Everyone would be so nervous. You're just trying to do well. I was at so stand-up. nervous. Man. I was so nervous too, man. I mean, I would mm-hmm. I would have that thing early on. If we had a show tomorrow, right? And it was like oh, it starts. Well, I'm saying like tonight, I'd be nervous, and then tomorrow at like five a.m., <laughs> I would shoot up out of bed. Be like, <gasps> Like feel panic. Oh, I didn't have that. Oh yeah, I would Damn. feel real panic. Um, yeah. I mean, it faded. Like. The yeah, longer, as time but, goes on, more yeah, you do. And then I would book a weekend opening at the in one of the improvs. Mm-hmm. Man, that would all day. I would just be like, can't writing, eat. Writing down the yeah, can't eat. Writing down the order of the set, being like, is that going to work? And you know, just yeah. trying to trying to get to that twenty minute mark and just. Oh my God. I remember having the first time I was supposed to do a headlining set was at Florida State for this like alumni show. That's right. It was me, like four other guys, with Alan Havey included. This was a long time ago. And uh, they're like, everyone does 40 minutes. And I thought this was normal. And I'm, you know, trying to get, I don't have 40 minutes, but I can, I can stretch it. Yeah. So I'm standing there in the hotel over like the fucking washing machine for a couple hours because, you know, Brit's in the room. I'm pacing around. I think I got it. Then we get to the venue. And Alan is like, 
Oh, no, no, we're not. No, that's not how it's going to work. Okay, you do 20, you do 15, and I'll do like 30. And they're like, okay, sure. Was that a huge relief then? Yeah, it was incredible. Yeah. yeah. And he's totally right. They're not going to have fucking four guys do 40, 40 minutes. Yeah, it's too much. Oh, it was great. Yeah, I, I mean, I the, the time that I almost fucking shit was I got booked to be the warm up, audience warm up through oh, a Oh, man. At last comic standing, I think. Oh, okay. And this is one of the, um, this is like I can. I wish I could bottle up this panic and sell it to people. Okay. Just make deer run away and stuff like yeah. that. I'm I'm a couple of years into stand up. I'm yeah. Like, um, I started. Let's see. I'm three years in. So I have. I can do at this point. Cause I'm working a bit. I can do. Like twenty, of like. Uh, decent stuff. Yeah. You know. So I get there, and this is, I forget if this was the first taping or not. That part I don't remember. It may have, it may have been. But I get out there, and they're like, all right, um, just go out there. And I'm like, okay, how long? And they're like, oh, I think we'll be ready in like 15 minutes. I'm like, great. Perfect. So I go out there. I run my set, and, you know, it goes fine. Like, it gets laughs. And then they're like, ready to go? I'm like, ready? Yep. And they're like, come on back. Start taping the show. <clears throat> they're like, cut. They're like, all right. Uh, can you go back out there? I'm like, sure. Like, what do I need to do? They go, well, we need to reset the cameras. So something was like not aligned right. Yeah. So, you know, just go out there and um, we'll be ready, you know, when we're ready. I go, well, how long do you think it'll be? And they're like, probably like 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Yeah. And I'm like, what? What the fuck? And That's I go, a long time. Well, what am I supposed to do for 40 minutes? And the guy goes, hey, man, we, I don't know. We hired you. I don't know. I'm like a kid, basically, you know? Yeah. And I go, uh, so I start scrambling. I, I, I like grab one of the producers. I go, hey, man, I just did like basically what I have. You know, I, I don't have 40 more minutes of stand up. Right. What do you want me to do? He's like, well, I don't know. I go. T-shirts. Yeah. Do you have any, <laughs> anything I can give away? I go, what about music? Can you play music? And they're like, yeah, we can do that. So then I do T-shirts and then I have a dance contest on stage. That's pretty good. Dance contest. Yeah. And I bring up audience members and I make them dance. And it was the only, I mean, and, but the panic I felt when I was going to go back out was other level. Like I can't imagine 40, he's like, do 40 more minutes. I'm like, that doesn't exist, man. I don't have I don't want to do 40 minutes now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was like, first of all, the only thing I have left is completely vulgar because at the time they're like, you yeah. have to work this clean. You know, you had this audience going, it was terrifying because that's all it was. It was terrifying. That sounds like the first time I ever did stand up. The first time in LA I ever did stand up was doing warm up. For like a web talk show, yeah, and I thought it was it was a paid audience because it was for this uh, promotional thing, right? Yeah, and I'm thinking, oh, they're gonna be a paid audience. Oh, that means they're gonna be extra good. Oh, and it was so, it was so incredibly, it was such a hard, incredible bomb. I did like made, not even ten minutes, probably like seven minutes of material. I worked on a bunch. I bombed so hard that no one would make eye contact with me the rest of the day. It yeah. was bad. Oh yeah. I told another comic about this, like a much older guy that I did that. And he was like, are you kidding me? Why would you ever think you can do warm up? God, he God. worked for Mad TV. He was like, we have people come out and do like prank phone calls and like shoot t-shirt cannons and stuff. We don't have comedians. We have like psychos come out yeah, and run yeah. around and stuff. So that made me feel better, but I was so terrible. I bombed so hard at, um, you remember Carson Palmer? He was the quarterback for the Bengals. He had a private event in Orange County. Oh, shit. And they go, they, the, like a few days before, I get a call from the improv. One of the people that works there was like, hey, you know, you're from Cincinnati and Carson Palmer's having this event in Orange County. Um, they are interested in having you maybe host the event. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, okay. And they go, they're going to come out to the show tonight. So a couple of them, like his reps. At the improv. They came to the Irvine Improv and they watched me and they were like, yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Like, cause they just saw me at a stand up show. Right. So they go, yeah, the event's like, you know, Friday and it's at this restaurant, like a, like a cool OC yeah. kind of swanky <laughs> restaurant. I'm like, I, I'm like, okay. I'm like, is there a stage? Like, oh yeah, there's a stage. And so I get there and there's like 200 and some people packed into this room. Bengals. Uh, it's a lot of football players, but it's also just like, um, people that, you know, kind of high, like high, well to do, like front office, front office, money people yeah. and like, like ritzy OC people. And they're all just mingling. So like when you walk in the room, you're like, Oh, there's a party. Everyone's like, all you can hear is like 
the noise of a bunch of people right. talking. I'm like, all right. And we're just kind of waiting around, waiting around. And I plan out in my head what I'm going to do. So then I go, hey, uh, they go, you ready to do it? I go, yeah. And I get ready to go up and I go, how are we, um, how are we going to get them to like, oh, can I stop guess? talking? There's no mic. There's a mic. Okay. There's a mic. <laughs> I go, how do we get them to stop talking? He goes, isn't that up to you? And I go, well, no, I'm going to perform. But like, they're all just mingling, mingling. And the guy's like, he's basically like, I don't know, man. So I'm like, all right. So the guy in like the booth goes, give it up for your host. When I'm not exaggerating when I tell you, nobody stopped talking. <laughs> like no, nobody. And yeah. I actually thought when I got up there, I was like, oh, this will just like take a minute. Like yeah. as they figure it out. Nothing. To the point where at one point I go, I'm like, hey guys, are you serious right now? Like I was actually like yeah. kind of a, like a, upset. I was like, guys, this has started. Hello. It's like doing a bar show or something. Dude, it was no wild. No one gives a shit. And finally there was like three people here that were like standing looking at, and one was a kid. <laughs> so I started to perform to them. Yeah. And then I told the kid that I was Brett Favre and he was like, oh really? Like he had no idea what was going on. Um, but I remember getting off stage. Oh, then like I go. How long did you do? I, it had to have, I had to have gone short. Yeah. But probably like around 15 so that's the kind of thing where you got to send in a drunk. Yeah. You know, someone's drunk uncle who like made, gets everyone's name in 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. That's what they need. It's like a. It was such a disaster. And the funny thing was, I go, all right, um, well, thanks for not listening. You guys are terrible. I, got, I said all that stuff. And I go, let's, um, let's bring up Carson. And as and, he walked to the stage, everybody shut up and just turned and looked at the stage. And I was like, are you fucking serious? And then he went up there and said, just like, thanks for coming out to my event. Yeah. Um, before I went on stage, this is the part I left out, before I went on stage, one of his reps was like, hey, um, you know, thanks for doing this. Um, Carson uh, wants to uh, invite you to play golf in the uh, golf outing tomorrow too. And I okay. go, oh, really? And he goes, well, unless something fucking horrible wrong happens. And I was like, oh, so, all right. So you didn't go golfing the next day, did you? I didn't go golfing the next day, yeah. They didn't, nobody hit me uh, up about it. It was such, it was such a bomb. It was a real fucking bomb. Dude. You know Colin Quinn's story about doing, a, I think it's De Niro's birthday party? <laughs> I think I heard from Oh, him. that is so good. Because <laughs> yeah. it's Colin Quinn too. Yeah. And he, it's, he wasn't like a young guy. No. He was a veteran. And that's the kind of stuff, I don't know if I could ever do a private function unless they were to say, hey, just do whatever you want. And I would come in there and like light some fucking fireworks off. Yeah. <laughs> like... Act like yeah. a psychopath and then maybe, I don't know, not and, talk. And then you heard that like Robin Williams part of it? No. Of the Colin Quinn story? Of the Colin Quinn story. Colin Quinn is doing God, is know. doing a stand-up right. at De Niro's thing and bombing. Right. It's bombing in front of De Niro. In front of De Niro and all the guests. And Robin Williams is one of the guests. And Robin's, at the time, wife is like, get up there. Go help him. Ooh. I don't remember and that he part. And he, she's like, go. And he's like, no, no, no. So, so like in front, he's seeing Robin Williams' wife be like, "Go help him! He's dying up there." <laughs> oh, I don't know. Mm, huh. Mm. Oh, go on. Uh, yeah, my baby, give, give him a kiss. Oh. <laughs> oh. God, De Niro too is like going to show no emotion. I mean, I wouldn't want to even look at him. Yeah. Can you imagine like going in an elevator? Uh, he just is like. Like, yeah. oh, ne no, next, I'll take, yeah. ne take stairs. <laughs> take, yeah. I'll take stairs, Mr. Nero. Do you remember the very first episode of Jimmy Fallon hosting The Tonight Show? No. Was he the guest? He was the guest. And was he, he just giving him nothing? It was horrific. Oh, God. It was horrific. And then you had to go like, yeah, but why would you do this to hit to Jimmy? Yeah. Like, it's his first night. And he's like, you are such a great actor. And he's like. And you know he's just trying. Like, he's trying to like trying to get something going. Yeah, and it's it's it goes it's so bad. Man, I don't know. I haven't seen that. That's weird. I remember it. I I haven't seen it in forever. I just remember. Yeah. I remember at the time being like, oh my god, this is so painful. De Niro. And like they clearly were like, well, book a huge name. It's yeah. Your first night. And it was just should have booked like uh, what's his name, the guy, um, the weirdo guy that Letterman used to have on all the time, the actor Crispin Glover. Oh <laughs> yeah. Crispin Glover on or some shit. Yeah. He'd be yeah. all fucking. Weird as shit, yeah. Just keyed up and 
Doing some high kicks. Yeah, dude. Ooh, mommy, did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You're not going to miss a moment of denim, okay? Try it out. Be her.